if you are new here hello my name is Amy and today I was just going to do a really chilled out video and I know that a lot of people are thinking about open days they do have open evenings as well but um, I prefer to go into the open day just because then you know like the college lifestyle and you can see what students go there and also you can go into the lessons as well that the teachers like the tutors are um doing and then you can get a feel of like what the lessons are like because college is very different from school and their lesson structure is very different so i got a feel for how the lessons gonna be how the tutors teach and also you can like learn more about the course so you might have like a standard um you might have a standard look of what the college and the lessons will be like and the course that you've chose but you might not know like in depth and in depth modules that you'll learn and different units you'll learn as well so you can ask questions to the tutors and also to the um students because they're there as well so i think that's really good getting a student's perspective off the course so yeah so then my second tip is bring your certificates and your predicted grades because obviously it can help determine what level you're put at because obviously if you put in like a level three course but then you've still got to do like your english and maths then a level three course is very intense it's got a lot of coursework so if you put that on top of english and maths classes then it can feel very like stressful as well so bringing your predicted grades and just so the tutors have like kind of a guideline as well also bring any certificates you have so like first aid i do know that a lot of schools now have brought first aid into their curriculum so having first aid is really good um training actually like a good certificate to have because like a lot of tutors will like that as well and um, so yeah any certificates that you have just bring it on so yeah my third tip would be make a good first impression obviously the tutors have never met you before and they don't know what you're like so making a good first impression is really important so basically like being happy being smiley um positive about the college and the course that you're choosing to go on i think it's really important as well and also um when you're showing you're willing they're like okay actually they do want to join this course and they do want to go to college not just because they might not get in sixth form or they might not want to go to sixth form and have the most relaxed experience they actually do want to go into college so definitely show a willing to do it and also um ask questions write down some questions as well um because writing down questions is much easier because you'll remember what questions you want to answer i'm sleeping off this bed um want to answer because then you won't get home and well we should ask that question now so yeah ask questions make a good impression so yeah okay so once you're in college and you're enrolled in college um turn up to your lessons a lot of people and i'm very guilty of this will be like i can't bother going today can't bothered but obviously you know you are an adult the tutors aren't going to go and text your parents if you don't turn up you know like school like if you don't turn up they like ring your parents and stuff like that they don't they just leave it and just hope that you will text them or email them or whatever don't ask where your assignments are all the time as well so my experience is like if i can be bothered to do like an assignment for instance that was my problem you know the tutors aren't going to keep asking me where my assignment is and where i am at with my assignment so yeah so again you do have like the um presentations on your website and yes you can go and look at the website and the presentations that your tutors put up but you actually don't get like an insight into what that class was doing that day so you don't get to join in a college and the class discussions and you know you don't if you like there's questions that are raised that you wanted um and their answers they're not in the presentation and that could literally be so beneficial to your assignment so literally going in just have like the discussions and everything like that rather than just reading off a presentation so yeah so also be yourself i think this is such an important piece of advice because a lot of people go to college like thinking oh i have to be really cocky and really confident and you know like i have to like 
be a leader in some way but no you don't like honestly don't follow the lead of other people don't focus on what other people want because guaranteed a lot of people want different things out of the course that you might not want so just because they're doing something differently don't mean that you should be doing that exact same thing if something don't work for you then don't do it just because other people are doing it and also like being yourself like if you're chatty be chatty if you're shy just you know make friends that are a bit more shyer and that you can talk to because honestly being yourself you'll make loads more friends than being someone who's like fake and you know it's like acting really and people will always find out so be yourself so another thing is kind of if you know what you want to do college is like the perfect thing because then you're not going to go into a course and spend like two or three years just being like well this was a waste of time because i don't actually want to do this i'm only on it because it was the best course and it was the, the best course to go on because it was more no, it was less work something like that don't do that and obviously i'm very guilty of this because when i come out of health and social care i went straight into travel mm, yeah i went into the travel industry but that was probably because i wanted i still i'm interested in being a social worker but you have to have a driving license so i often can't drive at the moment due to my medical condition so that was out the window for me for a bit um but yeah like just you know um be yourself and just know what you kind of want to do because there's no point doing a course that you really are not interested in so yeah i knew i wanted to kind of work with children and adults so i done health and social care so yeah know what you want to do okay so time management is so i have some notes here by the way that's why time management skills are so important at college like i touched on before your tutors aren't going to ask you where you are that the assignments if you've finished the assignment and it's so important especially like now it's nearly the end so say if you have an assignment that's been set in april so like just before these holidays and that don't like for me i know this happened it was set in April just before the Easter holidays and it wasn't in until June. So obviously you're thinking, great, yes, I have a lot of time. I'm not going to start that until, so say if it had to be in like June the 12th, I'd have started until June the, like June the 5th or some, something like that. But also you've got to think, you know, you have different units, you have different modules that choose to set assignments to all of the time so you're not going to have as much time as you think you're going to have because you're doing other units you might get um a resubmission and then you're like oh i have actually like no time because i've got to focus on other assignments as well so yeah and also if you know there's an assignment with a lot of factors in it and a lot of um a lot of writing that has to be done a lot of planning a lot of evidence based then schedule more time into that assignment and again if you use the college resources in the college library even if you're not in that day go into the college library and just obviously if you're not like ages away but go into like a library or go into somewhere quiet to study because honestly going into a college library or just a library or maybe like starbucks or cost or something like that that will keep you not distracted because obviously when you're sitting at home it can get boring but also the fact that you know you've got other things in your house but when you're in like a quiet mode a um, quiet room then literally you're just there dedicated to your time so yes my other tip would be use your tutors wisely honestly your tutors are going to be there from the beginning to the end you can't not you can't avoid your tutors you know what i mean so obviously like use them wisely as well like there'll be your references for your university for your work and i think they're a massive support system and obviously sometimes you'll think they're so like they're pushing me so much like i'm getting really annoyed with them but they know what you can do and they know your abilities and they're confident in you to achieve the highest grade because they just know you as a person they've seen you achieve and they've seen you grow into that person so they definitely know you better than yourself in some circumstances so also they're really helpful you know if you have any questions about the assignment they can just really answer your questions and give you some support and help so yes use your tutors so 
yeah so in um the new year like so in my kind of experience in the new year it goes so quickly so quickly like straight after christmas that's it like that's your last few months of doing the course so i remember a time where i was like really ill and <laughs> you know when you like offer a bit of a time and then you've kind of got used to being off so then you're like i don't want to go back like i don't want to go back but honestly do not give up because that is your last few months you know you've either got another year or you finished for the whole course and then you've got the summer to look forward to and stuff like that which is so good but yeah once you finish you finish that's it you know no more education you can do what you want and also if you do your assignments like earlier and you give them in earlier than the deadline day your tutors will mark it and then say if you finish all your assignments you can get signed off earlier as well so you don't actually have to be in june you get signed off it could be in may and that is an amazing feeling because you're like well everyone's going to college and i'm not because i've finished um so yeah and there's also a lot of good people and supportive friendship groups you know where we weren't a class like i can i'm just gonna speak for myself we weren't a class that did not help each other we helped each other every step of the way and if we still didn't understand it we'd give each other our assignments not to copy obviously but to give us like a little support and a little guidance of what to actually write because i remember i was really bad at like the introduction i just didn't know how to start my assignment like once i got into it i could but like there's so many people that are like willing to help you and because they want you to achieve as well so yeah we were really supportive of each other and everyone's like more growing up at college no one's being silly because they're actually interested in the course they've picked as well you know like at school where you know you don't really want to pick the subjects you want to pick like you might want to pick a few subjects but then the other subjects you're like no and people aren't interested so you start acting silly it's not like that at college because everyone's picked that course for a reason as well and the other thing i want to touch on is the different age ranges it's really good to have like older people so in my class i was like one of the oldest so you know love that um but also you get more independence as well so like at school you wouldn't be able to go i know from my experience you wouldn't be able to go out for lunch or at your break time as well we have so much independence you know like i remember we had like a long break after maths and um we used to go to the, like, the local pub not to like drink anything because we had lessons after but just to like have a bit of food you know catch up on other um on with other people that we you know you see them every day obviously but you might be working so much that you don't really see them um and you don't talk and catch up and stuff so it was a really nice kind of break in between just to have that and also if you don't want to work in class and everyone's working in class and you don't really want to work in class because it's too busy or stuff like that you can go to the library like as long as you're working you're just like yeah go to the library that's absolutely fine as long as you're working obviously um so yeah you get so much independence and you feel more like a grown-up because you're like oh i've got so much independence i can do what i want so yeah definitely that was my experience that was the tips i kind of got so if you have any questions or anything you can leave them in the comments and i will reply to them all and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it's free don't need to pay anything um and i'll see you again in my next video bye